Hi, I'm John Pettuccino, Professor of Astronomy at College of the Redwoods. This YouTube series will cover material that we cover in our Introduction to Astronomy class, from a meteorite found in Antarctica from the planet Mars and the search for life, all the way through to supernovas and black holes. Let's discuss the scientific method. As we discussed in lecture, the reality is, is that everything that makes its way into your textbook has been run through the grist mill of the scientific method. Okay? It's not just somebody's conjecture. So, though this may vary a little bit from some of the other uh, ways that the scientific method is discussed, I think we set aside four sort of steps for the scientific method. Let's remind ourselves of those steps. So, the scientific method is the method by which scientists arrive at their current thinking about a particular topic. First step, identify the problem. A clean description of the discussion point, a clean description of the problem or uh, that's being addressed in the scientific method is imperative. Uh, a loose discussion, like if someone said to me, what's the nature of life? Good luck figuring that out using the scientific method. Okay? So we need to identify the problem as cleanly as possible. Second step, gather data. And that gathering data may involve doing experiments. Okay? It may involve, in the case of astronomy, looking through a telescope. Uh, but the point is, gather data. And then, step three, come up with some sort of explanation for that data, something that fits the data model. So in that case, we come up with a theory. Okay. And are we done? Absolutely not. Okay. You have to have the fourth step. You've got yourself a theory, an explanation that seems to fit the data, as we described during class. It seems to answer the problem, but are we done? And of course not. There is a fourth and most important step of the scientific method, and that is test. And I would argue test and tweak. Okay? Kind of a funny word, but what we're meaning there is be willing to change the model. Be willing to recognize that that model is imperfect and make uh, adjustments to the model. So test and tweak usually involves going back, gathering more data, and clarifying the theory. And sometimes the theory gets tossed out and sometimes the theory gets improved. Uh, there will be teachers that you have, classes that you have, that start off with the notion of a hypothesis. A hypothesis evolves into a theory. A theory becomes a law. I'm not so comfortable with that model. I would suggest that everything we do in science is theory. There are theories with capital T's and theories with small t's. Uh, there are theories that are well developed, like the theory of evolution, and there are other theories that still have some work. Like the Big Bang. In broad strokes, it seems to fit the data, but there are lots of places where we can make adjustments and let that theory evolve over time. The key point is being clear on what you decide you want to study, gathering data through experimentation, uh, come up with an explanation, and then lastly, be willing to test and, in fact, enhance the theory or perhaps toss it out if it doesn't work. 